Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Unreal World. I am Wolfric. We are in good shape. We are still waiting for this uh, boar skin to prepare. We've got yeah two days left because during the last episode we didn't actually do all that much so not much time passed. So it's late afternoon now. We're nearly at a position where we can go to sleep. Um, what should we do really? Um, I guess we could just pass some next, pass some time. Really, there's nothing really that we to do at the minute. I'm quite content with everything how it's going so far. Um, we finished using up new. We didn't two rocks, two cords, four back. Ah, oh, I'm such a dickhead. I only made three last time, didn't I? I forgot that I had five of everything. Okay, well, that'll finish off today probably. We'll make those last couple of arrows. So two arrows, tying equipment. Yep, finish that off. Good quality? Yeah. One decent and one curved. Oh, come on. How can you have one at the decent end and one at the opposite end of the spectrum? Oh, well, we still got one decent. I'm not going to complain about that. So, looking rather good, actually. Two curved, ten rough, and nine um, decent. So, that's 21 arrows we've got now. So, I am really comfortable with that. I'm really, really comfortable with that. We can do well with that. Uh, javelin as our one-handed spear, although it's probably not worth ass. <sighs> Javelins are fairly horrible in close combat, last time I checked. Um, they're not too bad as throwing weapons if you have nothing else. However, for the purposes of actually fighting hand-to-hand, -hand, they're not really that great. Um, there we go, we passed some time using the underscore key. It's now night time, so we're going to eat bit more of that pike because it's huge we're going to drink and we've fallen over with that knackered so now we're going to go to sleep wow woken up quite late in the morning we woke up because we thought we saw something move what moved way hey, hey. something in the pack is smelling foul oh wonderful is there anything out in the middle of the distance no I can't see anything stand up E R. there we go can't see anything. You're blind, Jimmy. I can't see. The amount of times that this happens. I am sure that every character in the Unreal world is schizophrenic to some degree. Or at least paranoid delusional. Because the amount of times that you wake up in the middle of the night because you thought you heard some rustle. Or you thought you saw something move in the distance. And even if you're in the middle of an open space area and you can see all around you and there's plenty of daylight around or light of some kind. And there's nothing there. The bloody characters are delusional. So, I I don't know. Maybe that's what living out in the wild on your own does to you. It must send you insane so uh, let's see now so we're still just waiting for this um, skin to finish off so it'll be ready tomorrow so in the meantime we are going to make an absolute ton of primitive cords because when we come back from our hunt we will hopefully be laden down with wonderful amounts of bounty and not the chocolatey coconutty kind but of the tasty meaty kind and then we are going to want to preserve everything. Everything, everything, everything. And actually, we should probably go and check on the uh, village today to see how our bear meat is doing because that should be coming along, I think. Not too long left. So, how many branches have we got here now? 200. That is okay. That will make. 10 run 10 yeah that should make about 10 primitive cords so not too bad who knew carrying a bunch of 200 twigs would take so bloody long 10 minutes per square meter 2 meters each tile is 2 meters so it takes 10 minutes to move 200 twigs 2 meters wow that is um really really surprising I guess we're butterfingers, keep dropping them all. So, make utility. Ba ba ba. Soak branches. Yes. And repeat the process. Doesn't matter about the quality, because it's going to be used for other things. And I say that, and we get five decent. 
Okay, um, look at this. We cut up all this firewood and we haven't actually bloody needed any of it yet. Ah, right, yes, I just remembered something went off in our pack. It's smelling foul. I can't see what, though. Was it the pike? We haven't gotten rid of anything yet, and there's nothing that would be in weapons, armors, or timber, so it must be food. But nothing is coming up as spoiled. It must be the roasted pike, because that's the oldest thing here. It lists it in order of being picked up. And the roasted boar cuts and fat were the most recent food item we picked up, so it can't be that. It must be the roasted pike that's gone off. So, yeah, to save risking it, because you can poison yourself in this game if you happen to eat things that are out of date, or if you uh, happen to eat poisonous mushrooms, it will kick your ass. Wrong button. Push, not move. There we go. Dump the last of that little fish into the river. Um, so, yes, the primitive cords are preparing and will be ready tomorrow, as will our pig lever. So, that's fine. I will point out now, though, that we're de-hairing this. I'm still not 100% sure on whether we were actually supposed to de-hair it or not in order to get leather, because I... I could have sworn that pigskin turned into leather by default anyway. However, saying that, there is a difference between wild boars, which is what we killed, and pigs and sows, which you can trade for from a village. So I think it might just be pigs and sows that you trade from villages that give you instant leather, whereas wild boars do tend to be quite hairy, so maybe that was correct. I don't know, but it didn't stop us and say, you cannot do this, so it must have been needed. So, um... That'll be fine. And once it's finished de-herring, de-herring is the longest process. Tanning it is going to be a lot quicker. Uh, each process takes about a day, I believe. Except, f no, even the last process takes long about a day because you have to beat it for a day. Um, so, yeah, two stages of waiting for a day and then one stage of beating the crap out of it with a stick for a day. So, let's check the village and see how our meat is getting along. Taking forever. Right, there we go. It's over here. Yes? Yes? Grunt? Oh, yeah, they have pigs. Um, where's. There it is. <sighs> had a heart attack from here then. Only 76, really? I thought we had more than that. Huh. But yeah, I honestly thought that they'd nicked it all. 17 days! Arr, it takes so long! It takes so long, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it in the end. It will all be worth it. We've got to keep telling ourselves that. <laughs> now, it'll, it'll be useful if they had something here to trade. Just something that we could trade the meat for, because they're quite happy to trade for food. He's carrying eight bear cuts. Where did you get those bear cuts from? Thief! Um, yeah, I really want a spear. I know that you can use clubs and stuff as spears, but I really like Calmo spears. I don't know why, I just always have good luck with them. I, nobody has a Calmo spear. <laughs> I don't want a Calmo spear. It's fine, it's fine. Ooh. Did I check you already? Yeah, I checked you already. Boring bastard. Ay, 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 ay. Right. I think what we are going to do is we are going to go on a quick little expedition and search out some of the other Kalmar villages. If we go to the map, we could have sworn we discovered a few, so the red square is us, and the brown is our settlement and shelter. And then yellow are villages and settlements, so culture... Yeah, so we're currently in the middle of Kalmai territory, and here where we started the game, a Nyerp camp has popped up, because they're bastards like that, and they always pop up where you start after you've left the area. But we've only found two Kalmai villages so far. We've found the one up here, right next to our shelter, and the one down here that was inside of... it was between two rivers. 
I remember now we couldn't get to it because we came across we came across it and it was on the other side of a river and that was how we came to this one because we were just following the river as far north as we can and we just never found a way around it I can see even right now we are right next to this bloody river right here this thing we need to find a way to get across and there's another settlement uh, we just really 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 I don't think we're going to get across until we've got a raft or a canoe or we skirt around this like here? No, no. Dang it. Maybe? Can we? Have we actually reached the end? Have we reached the source of the river? Can we skirt around it and find a way? Because it seems that that is... Yeah, you can't... We need watercraft because swimming... You can swim in this... Oh, hello. What were you? Eh, eh, show me. <laughs> Where was the vantage point? I just saw a stag or something. Ah, there he is. What are you, a stag and elk? An elk. We're coming for you in a couple of days. We have really. I just love that we've struck upon such a game-rich area. I've got no idea if this wolf pack is still up around here somewhere. A snake? You know, this is the second time I have ever come across a snake. We're tired, and it's late evening, but screw it. I would like to try and kill a snake. The second... I've been playing this game for two and a half years now, and I've never... this. Like I say, this is the third time I've ever come across a snake. The first time was about three weeks ago, while I was preparing to start Let's Playing. And there it is, that just little squiggly thing on the floor. So, I'm going to assume that as it's a snake, it's not particularly quick. So it's not going to be able to run away from us that easily. However, I'm also going to assume that because it's such a small target, we're going to have a really hard job shooting the bugger. But we're going to just follow it a little bit. Seems alert. Let's try shooting it. Into the body. We missed and it's escaping. Bloody hell, look at that thing move. And wouldn't you know, snakes don't leave tracks. Oh, that's wonderfully useful. Seriously, not even a sliver mark? Oh, there he goes. Where, there he is. Is he still escaping? He is still escaping, you can tell by the kind of whooshy pattern underneath him. I don't know if you can see that. Well, he's not moving too quickly, despite the fact he's escaping. And it would help if we weren't running all over the place like morons. You know what? Screw it. We're going to just... We're going to wield the hand axe, and we're going to run after the little bugger. We're just going to try chopping at him. Uh, two in the diagonal, and we're going to use the edge and going to go for the body. Ooh! <laughs> you carry out a perfect strike, your ab uh, hand axe strikes hard to its abdomen, blood gushes out, full unconscious. Oh, he's curled up! Oh, poor little guy. Oh, let's chop your head off and get it over with. Uh, edge, neck. Drops dead in an instant. Size once, then lies still. Okay. <laughs> A sighing snake. Now, again, second time I've ever found one of these, so I am really curious as to what we're going to get from this. Are we going to get snake level? That would be awesome if we do. Uh, we are going to... Ah, we've got to start cutting into our... Um, cuts and we have no water dang it right uh, we are going to drop some things while we are doing this we're not going to drop the knife because we need that for skinning but we're going to drop the javelin the bow uh, the arrows because all this stuff that we're carrying is weighing us down to some degree even though most of the stuff i'm dropping here is only like one or two pounds here and there 
it still all adds up to weigh us down which if you're weighed down you get the penalty and if there's any penalty it subscri subtracts from the skill so obviously it's still a minus two percent penalty which is acceptable I'll go with that but that means that it's minus two percent away from 43 percent so our, effectively our hard working in a minute is only 41 percent we're not fatigued we are still injured so actually it's less than that it's minus six percent which takes us down to 37 so not great but again I'm not that bothered right now so hide working skin and animal yes ah hide of this grizzly snake carcass is mutilated beyond usage damn it the second time I've ever come across a snake skin and two attacks made it grizzly so essentially it seems that snakes are the reptilian equivalent of squirrels really tiny and really easy to just really mess up so I bet we're not even going to get that much meat from this I mean I wouldn't expect to get loads but I'm betting we're only going to get like a pound or two yeah one edible cut of snake meat and some fat so eh, hardly seems worth it but at least I can now say that a first for me in this game is I have killed a snake so yay we are thirsty we are tired let us head back home there's wolf pack there they are little wolf pack so yep we are going to run home quickly and we are going to sleep and first we're going to get a drink of water and then we're going to sleep and we're going to put an end to the video here and when we come back next time we are going to wake up and we are going to start preparing that lever because it should be ready today so until next time i will see you later